say air pollution, what comes to mind? Billowing smokestacks, maybe? Smog on the horizon, perhaps? Sure. But have you ever considered the air pollution indoors? I don't know about you, but over the last couple years, I have spent more time thinking about and worrying about the quality of air I breathe more than ever before. But what can we do about it? Well, we can start by investigating what kind of pollutants are lingering in our indoor spaces. But how do we do that? Isn't it complicated involving a whole lot of different sensors, custom microcontrollers, specialized algorithms, and more? Yes, it did. But now, there's a whole new way to measure the quality of the air in our indoor spaces. And not only can it help you monitor the key elements of indoor air quality, but it can also save money on your bomb and alleviate your assembly requirements as well. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Measuring indoor air pollution is a valuable tool to monitor our health and productivity. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Timothy Kennedy from Sincerian joins me to discuss the what, how, and why of indoor air quality testing, and how the all-in-one air quality sensor called sen 5 x from Sincerian can make measuring our indoor air quality easier than ever before. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Sincerian. Hi, Timothy. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Amelia. So we're talking about the key elements of indoor air quality today and how easy it is to measure them. But Timothy, before we dig into the details, Sincerian has a solution in this space, right? Exactly right, Amelia. What we're going to talk about today is our all-in-one air quality sensor, the SEN 5X, S-E-N 5X. So that's a combination of environmental parameter sensing capabilities that we have built up and we are a trusted provider of as a sensor solutions company. And we've packaged it into an easy to integrate solution for our customers. Okay, so Timothy, when we're talking about indoor air quality, we need to talk about particulate matter, right? So can you give my audience a refresher on exactly what particulate matter is? I absolutely can. Particulate matter or PM are airborne molecules. They are larger than atoms, but they are smaller than what we can see by the human eye. To give you a sense of scale, we talk about particulate matter or PM with a number after it, and that number is a micron diameter of that particle. So 10 PM10 particles will be about the width of one human hair. To give you a scale on how small these particles are. Because we can't see them, we might not think about them, but they are airborne and they are everywhere. They come from natural processes, including soot and combustion, forest fires, volcanic eruptions, but a lot of it is generated by human activity. And the biggest contributor to particulate matter in the air is traffic. Okay, so we also need to take a closer look at nitrogen oxides, right? I thought nitrogen oxides were only found outdoors, but they can be found indoors as well. That's exactly right. We just talked about traffic. That's another big source of nitrogen oxides. So anything that has nitrogen, oxygen, and then some other concentration of it. So it can come from traffic and power plants, but inside anything that is a combustible activity can generate nitrogen oxides. That includes cigarettes, it includes if you have a wood burning fireplace, and it includes if you have a gas range or oven in your home. When you turn on the pilot light, and get the gas going, that's combustion, that's going to generate nitrogen oxides. So, Timothy, what other compounds should we be looking at here? These include volatile organic compounds. To give you some everyday examples, this can include ethanol, butane, acetone, chemicals that are carbon-based and typically very big. And these can be emitted by people, by breathing, by cosmetics. They can be outgassed by paints and solvents. They can be emitted by cleaning materials, by plastic products, and carpets and floorings. Typically, there's always a background level of volatile organic compounds, but too many of them can be hazardous to human health. Okay, so Timothy, keeping all of this in mind, how important is it for us to measure these kinds of pollutants in our indoor spaces? 
it's incredibly important. And it's a very, very large task ahead of us that many organizations and standards in the world are aware of. But we as individuals need to be aware of why we should be monitoring these as well. Particulate matter can enter the airstream when we breathe, and it can become trapped in our lungs. And the smallest particles can even be distributed cardiovascularly in our bloodstream. Nitrogen oxides and VOCs also enter into our body when we breathe. And many of the effects of these compounds and environmental parameters is very toxic. There's an increased risk for asthma, respiratory and cardiovascular illnesses, lung diseases, even something as simple as temperature and humidity. The chart at the bottom right shows a slide that we and Sincerian put together to show that we should target a comfort zone for humidity and temperature because outside that comfort zone, you're at risk for those parameters we listed in those quadrants, dehydration, heat stroke on the high end of temperature, and then on the low end, respiratory and rheumatic pains. So these are all reasons that we should be aware of these environmental parameters, where they come from, and why it's important that we monitor for them. That makes sense. So Timothy, how does the sen 5 x fit into this story? How does this solution help us? The sen 5 x covers all of the environmental parameters that we just talked about. So that's particulate matter, volatile organic compounds, nitrogen oxides, and humidity and temperature. In one small integrated package, it covers all of those environmental parameters of interest. And just like we said, it's important to monitor for all of them. So this is a great all-in-one solution to capture these key parameters to having good indoor air quality. Now that we know the environmental parameters the SEN5X can detect, but how does it differentiate itself from individual sensor solutions? The SEN5X can further differentiate itself through a number of key steps that were taken in its development and its benefit as an integrated solution. So to give you a high-level overview before we step into each one, there are integrated algorithms, meaning the unit has intelligence and processing of the environmental data inside the unit. It allows for a fast hardware design. Rather than designing in all of these individual sensors, you integrate one unit and you're done. And then finally, through our benefits and experience in sensor design, you're buying a product that has dust protection. It has a 10-year lifetime, which if you compare to competition, is far longer than other similar solutions on the market. It includes high-quality components that we have produced reliably for many years, including our SHT, or humidity and temperature sensors, and our SGP, our volatile organic compound sensors, as well as our SPS, our particulate matter sensors, which were the base for building up this sensor combo platform. Cool. Now, for context here, Timothy, how does a single sensor solution deal with this kind of processing complexity? If you look at a example block diagram of the processing complexity when you design single sensors, you see several components. First, you have to communicate with each sensor. Each one's going to have its own I2C address. You have to make sure you're sending it the right commands and that it's talking back to you. You have to figure out typically the algorithms. Other sensors might have volatile organic compound or NOx readings, but they might not be able to tell you anything intelligent about what you're seeing. So you have to develop that algorithm and host it on the microcontroller. And then finally, you have the temperature compensation to think about for all these sensors. So all this data flying around is a lot to handle for one microcontroller, especially as devices get smaller and smaller and design engineers strive for better efficiency. That absolutely makes sense. So how does the Send 5 x compare when it comes to reducing this processing complexity? All those blocks that I talked about are squeezed into one with the Send 5 x With the Send 5 x you're talking to one sensor that will deliver all the environmental parameter results that you want and need. So you're not talking individually to a bunch of different sensors. You're only speaking to one, and it gives you all the results you need. We have integrated temperature compensation. We have integrated VOC algorithms and integrated NOx algorithms. So what you're getting on the end is not just data and numbers, but a smart and intelligent way of looking at those numbers that can then drive a smart and actionable change in your end product. Okay, now 
you also mentioned the integrated algorithms as part of the solution. So can you explain that a bit more? Sure. The first one I'll talk about is the temperature acceleration and compensation. In this graph, there's a blue line that shows that when a device is powered up in housing, typically it's going to be heated by other components or it's going to have some temperature offset based on the housing it's designed in. That's a simple reality of designing in an environmental sensing component into an end product. You can see how long it takes for that sensor to be able to deliver accurate readings, meaning once that blue line hits a limit at 20 degrees C, then you can apply an offset in post-processing that gives you an intelligent reading of what the temperature actually is. But it takes almost two hours to get to that point. With the STAR engine, or Sensorian's temperature acceleration routine, when that offset is known through product testing, the sensor can intelligently ramp up its temperature response to get to that level sooner, which means that in the matter of a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, you can start reliably applying these offsets, this temperature compensation, to derive meaningful results for environmental sensing. So how will we know that the sen 5 x integrated algorithm is showing the kind of air quality levels we're expecting? That's a great question. Volatile organic compounds are everywhere in the air and in varying concentrations. So this isn't a selective sensor that will tell you that you have this percentage of this particular gas and that percentage of that particular gas. That's not how MOX technology works for our sensor and for other VOC sensors out there. What we do is we intelligently deliver a VOC index. This means when the sensor is operated in a stable environment, it learns what typical air quality looks like. Then, like a human knows, it reacts intelligently to events that occur. For example, it's in your kitchen and you wipe the kitchen counter with a disinfectant wipe. A disinfectant wipe will emit VOCs. The sensor will react to it and the air quality index, the VOC index, will increase. And then over time, as you either ventilate the space or as the compounds diffuse in the air, the index will go back down. Ah, I see. Now, is that index the same for detecting nitrous oxide compounds as well? It's extremely similar. The difference here is volatile organic compounds exist at varying and safe levels pretty much everywhere in standard air. Nitrous oxide should not be a component in standard healthy indoor air. That means that rather than having an index that typically sits at 100 and will go up and down based on the events that occur, for NOx, we see that one or an extremely low amount of NOx is present. And then as that index goes up, it gives you an idea of NOx compounds are present, but also the intensity of which they are present. Gotcha. Now, Timothy, you also mentioned fast hardware design. Can we take a closer look at that aspect of the solution? Yes, this is an extremely, extremely beneficial one for designing for air quality monitoring. When you're designing individual sensors, a good design in is going to require trial and error. You have to place the sensor correctly. You have to consider the volume around it. You have to consider its interaction with other sensors, with other components on the board its interaction with the housing. You have to consider all these factors and then even small minute changes can create an impact on what you're reading. Typically, you go through a design phase where you design the product. It takes some time to prototype it, to build it up, and then it takes time afterwards to test it to see if your design intentions are met in the actual physical product. When you're doing an individual or a single sensor solution design, this cycle will repeat many times. And these are all things that you have to tweak and play with. And it reduces your time to market. It impacts your ability to construct a solution and start putting it out there into the world. With the Send 5X, you design, prototype, and test the product intended to be one cycle. You gain the benefit of our expertise in the airflow design of the sensor. You have the temperature compensation for the unit itself, plus the star engine that we talked about. So when you do the single design cycle, the sensor will be fully designed in and you will have the immediate ability to have good concrete data coming from the environmental sensing. 
So, Timothy, I would imagine that this kind of approach would also lower the overall cost of my design as well. Is that right? That's exactly right. To talk again about a single sensor solution, when you're buying these components discreetly, your bill of materials is going to include all of those sensors individually, of course. But then there's also a cost of assembly, assembling each sensor correctly and safely and effectively so that it's not compromised during the assembly process. You have to make up connectors. You have to have wires and traces and board space. And of course, you have to have time to put all these things together. All of those factors are instantly eliminated or reduced when you go with a combo approach. You design in one sensor, meaning it's less time. You're only buying one component. And then finally, for the assembly, it's one connector and five wires. And as a fun fact, it's a connector that we chose that has several variations on the market. We're well aware of supply chain difficulties that exist in today's current, not just electronics, but worldwide markets. So by selecting this specific kind of connector, we are enabling our customers to have even further flexibility in how they can source the already reduced components that they would need to design in the sensor. So, Timothy, what about combining the Sen 5X with an air purifier? What kind of benefits would you see with this kind of application? For an air purifier, some today don't have any environmental sensing capability. Some do, but it might be very limited. The benefit that you get for having a Sen 5X designed into your air quality monitor is it allows you to accurately monitor these parameters of interest that we've been talking about. You gather your indoor air quality data or intelligent data that's delivered by the Sensorian algorithms developed by our absolute sensor experts. You can better understand what that data means and then be more actionable when you're ventilating and purifying the air. So some key results you get are safety. You're detecting and removing pollutants efficiently and quickly to make sure that they don't exceed healthy levels. You save energy meaning that the device can operate when it needs to, and it doesn't have to run all the time or unnecessarily. And then finally, there's a user comfort aspect as well. They don't have to manually control this air purifier. They don't have to wonder whether they're running it enough. And they don't have the burden of unnecessary noise going back to that continuous operation. So these are all benefits that you can see in an indoor air quality purifier application using the Scent 5X. Cool. Now, I could also see how the Sen 5X could be combined with an IoT solution quite easily. Could you walk me through that kind of application? Absolutely. Today on the market, there are a variety of health monitor products and, of course, smart home devices such as speakers, thermostats, all connected in an Internet of Things scenario where they control various aspects in the house. With the Sen 5X, You have high quality accuracy for this kind of air health monitoring. You have optimized efficiency with the microcontroller. And then finally, it's at a size where it can fit into these home applications very easily. Meaning that once this product is designed into this kind of vent application, if it detects poor indoor air quality in one room and it's connected to the rest of the house through an Internet of Things solution, it can alert the smart thermostat that maybe it needs to change the temperature or alert the heating and ventilation and air conditioning system that it's time to ventilate the room. So that's one way that putting the Sen 5X into this Internet of Things sphere can add benefit to existing devices and technologies on the market. All right. Well, Timothy, this has been a lot to take in today. Can you recap your main points for me? I sure can. At a high level, indoor air pollution can affect both our health and our productivity in negative ways. We talked about particulate matter, volatile organic compounds, nitrous oxides, humidity, and temperature. It's important to monitor all of these to reduce pollutants, increase our comfort indoors, and increase the safety of the air that we're breathing. Our Sen 5X combo sensor is the perfect solution to monitor these key elements of indoor air quality to a level of quality to be expected from Sensorian sensors. When you design with this product, you save money on your bomb and assembly costs. You allow a fast and easy integration into end user products. You reduce the burden of the electronics that are controlling the sensor. And at the end of the day, you're integrating a sensor 
that is able to deliver all of these capabilities and give you ease of mind to your customers and ease of mind to a designer for having the best possible solution. Excellent. Well, Timothy, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. You're very welcome. Thank you for your time, Amelia. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Sincerian. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.